And the fact that this was just, I mean, literally within the last five minutes, downgraded to a tropical storm after being over land for the amount of time that it was after landfall is incredible. So you can see that we are still dealing with very, very heavy rain through central and northern Florida, basically from Orlando stretching uh, northward into Jacksonville. It is still very windy. I mean, despite the fact that this has been downgraded, there is still potential for a heck of a lot of damage. So here is the latest from the Hurricane Center. It is now a tropical storm. From last check, winds are at 65 miles an hour. They were 75 prior. So we had it at category one status while you were asleep. So if you're just tuning in and just waking up, this is brand new information. It is a tropical storm at this point. Moving to the northeast at eight, wind gusts are at 75 miles an hour. So now taking a look at the track. So what will happen with Ian and what's kind of interesting is that it's going to enter over the Gulf Stream, which is really, really warm. So it may intensify for a hot moment before it continues to weaken as it turns its way to the north and northwest. Notice the path that it's on. And of course, here's Ohio. So this takes it to the south of Ohio by midday, late day Saturday. 